See that bad boy right there? That's from ice. That doesn't look good. What's happening here was just that one split and this is all relatively new baseboard. If it's just one spot, we'll cut out a section and, and repair it. If a couple fins get removed, it really doesn't affect the heat output that much, so it's not a big deal. The other room has multiple breaks in it. By the time we'd be done repairing it, we'd have to remove a lot of the, uh, the fin. And the fin on the tube is what transfers the heat. So the problem would be if we repaired, repaired all the splits in there, we drastically reduce the heat output of the baseboard. So we'll take it all out, put some nice new fresh stuff in there, and uh, we'll be back in business. What happens a lot also, I find people have supplemental heating, they do a wood stove or pellet stove or, or something like that, a fireplace, and they feel it's cold out and they don't want to waste oil, so they'll run supplemental heating. The problem with that is if you have, say for instance, a wood stove and you get the wood stove going, it heats up the room and it satisfies the thermostat. So the thermostat doesn't call the conventional heating system on and then the water doesn't move. And if the water's not moving, it'll freeze. The house um, the other day we went to that had a frozen laundry line and flooded the whole house. Probably three quarters of the house is now disrupted. It's taken apart and carpets are, you know, pulled out and that kind of stuff. And over, you know, saving a couple dollars in oil, it's really not worth it. We got owie. Yeah. Let me put this on your owie. It's no Hello Kitty, but it's good enough. Eric usually kisses it. Let me see it. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. see the pipe will go in there? Yeah. That's swedged, but they use a lubricant at the factory to swedge them so they don't bind. You gotta wipe it out. If it's not clean, it doesn't solder. I have beef taco mix, which is delicious. Mmm, so good and tasty. I've got a guy who preps my meals. It comes all prepared in the container. Throw it in the microwave and eat it. Mmm. What rating do you give it? A 10. A 10. I give it a, uh, a 10. A 10. My food guy's awesome. Thank you, Mike. Play this music, right? Dude, it's too old. They have no record of it. That's why you can play the music. <laughs> yeah, it's Matt Cam. What are we doing, George? I did everything by myself. <laughs> These pipes were actually burst. See that? It's a little shaky. What about now? There we go. Oh, professional over here. George, what are these fittings called? The Yeager Copper Fittings. See, I'm the one editing, uh, so I can pretend that I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that ain't fair. Catch him on the real side of the camera. <laughs> here? That's not pets, George, that's copper. No, I said Viega. Yeah, but it's... Look, it's v Viega. Yeah, I know, but that's copper fittings. Viega Copper Fittings. What are we doing here? A little purging. Purging? Key that fits. Key to your heart. Oh. Yep. There we are. Nice. Ooh, I'm getting it. I can do it all around this joint. We got water, baby. Look at it, like a water fountain. We're blending. Matt, I'm very impressed. So, if you take the cover off the baseboard or you close the, the lid on it, it produces almost no heat because there's no airflow through it. So it's very important to have these open so they can produce heat. Had a house here that the Baseboard heat froze and split and uh, leaked a little bit in the room. So we removed all the heat that was in there that was broken, uh, repaired another section in another part of the house, installed all new baseboard heat, purged it, 
cleaned everything up after ourselves and back in business and the heat's working great.